It's Thursday. I'm gonna solve a Thursday puzzle. Wonder what the puzzle has in store for us. Is it something good? Is it something clever? Is it uh, something hard to figure out? Is it something easy? Is there a reveal or is there not? I don't know, but we're gonna find out soon, aren't we? Yes, we are. Maybe you already know. Maybe you don't. Well, let's find out together, unless you already know. Here we go. Natan Last and the JASA Crossword Class are the construction team. I'm Steve. I'm the solving team soloist whatever individual the solver let's do it let's solve this puzzle shall we let's do it here we go okay race that winds down in the winter like i did a rod or something like that i don't know way down i don't know cup holder hand uh, i don't know about that long line of travelers i don't know okay long line on a face i don't know nba film featuring ray allen 1998. Uh, he wasn't in Blue Chips. Would have been around then. Maybe a little earlier. Shaq was in that, right? Uh, Ray Allen was a oh, Space Jam. Nope. It's not Space Jam. Unless there's a Rebus. Uh, Space Jam was earlier than that, too. Okay. Someone who sees the big picture. Nintendo Switch. Maybe NES. Oh, no. How about Wii? Because, uh, yeah, I like that better. Strike or something that can be batted. Ball? Maybe you can bat the ball and the ball goes a strike. I don't know. Dead lines. I don't know. All over. I don't know. Singers, vocalists doesn't fit. I don't know. Excellent credit rating. Triple A. Familiar with. I don't know. Miracle workers. Error. I don't know what network shows miracle workers. I just know like that's like the Helen Keller or Annie Sullivan story, but I don't think that's right. Okay. Most common vowel sound in English is schwa. Uh, stored as supplies. I don't know. Oh man, Artie, I think, was uh, was a character on Glee. That was the, that was the kid in the wheelchair, right? It was Arnie? I don't know it, Artie. I don't know if Abrams was his last name, but we can go with that. It's five letters and it has an I in the right place. Trail, uh, ellipse would be oval. Uh, title lyric: There'll be day. Mama said there'll be days like this. There'll be days like this. My mama said. Okay, mama said. Mama said. Uh, so there's got to be something going on, Rebus here. Okay, race that winds down in the winter slalom because they go back and forth. It winds down. Okay, car. It's a ski race. Long line of travelers is a caravan. Okay, uh, eight film. It's not blue chips. It's it's got to be a basketball movie, right? I mean, what else could it be? I don't know. Uh, all over, everywhere, stored as supplies. Um. I don't know. Trail. Lag. He Got Game was the movie. All right. So the movie was He Got Game. So here we go. Rebus. It's Ego. Ego. So it's like an ego trip or something like that. Okay. This is Mama Said. But I don't know about that. Oh, this is Id. Oh, it's like a, it's like a Freud thing. We got Id and Ego. Because uh, Mama Said there'll be days like this. Okay. Strike or something that can be called... I don't know. Singers. Um, oh, I don't know. Now that, that changes everything. Okay, dish near water coolers. Office gossip. Office. Uh, office. No, I know. I don't know. Um, oof. Okay, stands by. Weights. Let's see. All over. A new. Oh, we got to bring in all over. Um, stored as supplied. Oh. So this is, it's the ego or it's the id. So I don't know how we do that. Um, going across, it's he got game, it's ego. Going down, it's id. Oh, okay. So then same thing with this one. Um, whoops. Let's read this. Uh, ego. Uh, going across. I'll be consistent. I'll do the across ones. So it is office gossip. Okay, office gossip. But on the way down, it's id. And on the way across, it's ego. And, uh, okay, flying ace. All right, Durango direction. How about Norte? Um, well, Durango's in Colorado. Uh, the other Durango. Oh, but it has direction, which actually means address, not direction. Well, I, get, I don't know. All right, anyhow. Islands atop coral reefs are keys. Uh, or is it K's? C-A-Y. Back then is once. So it is C-A-Y. Okay. Um, suckling on a farm is a foal. Its home is on the range. Uh, frying pan. This has the id on the way down. So fry, I don't know. Uh, who's coming in Alora Nairo to an Eli's coming? Is that is that a song? Frying pan. Okay. It actually just fits. 
Uh, steno supplies are notepads, notebooks. I'll go with notepads. Uh, the Magna Carta. Okay, a Freudian concept of resisting temptation or a hint to four squares. So superego, id, and ego. I don't know how I write that. Um, certain gastropod, a squid, octopus, right? Um, mullet, no, those are mullet. I don't know. MSNBC competitor would be CNN, I guess. Uh, couldn't agree more. Amen. Uh, catch all is misc miscellaneous. A certain gastropod, sea star, I think maybe. That, that seems like it works. Uh, Im. I don't know. Responsibility is the onus. Okay, I don't know the name of the of the concept. Stable arrangement. Uh, I don't know. Sui generis is a phrase. I don't know what it means, but I've seen it. So it's sea something else. Oh, sea slug. That's more like it. Uh, sea star is a is a, an echinoderm, right? I don't. Okay, what's added top of cook monsieur to make it cook madame is egg. Apologies for my uh, faux français, my false French accent. Impulse is uh. Oh, is it impulse control? Is that a Freudian concept? I, I guess so. Um, all right, Phi Sig. I guess it would be the college group Phi Sigma. Um, I don't know. Stable arrangement, our stalls, yes. Okay, sport and ring, sumo. Uh, only person whose first and last name together is listed as an adjective. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Lament is rue. Downturn is a slump. Uh, accommodations a bank might float a loan for. It's not loan. Uh, I don't know. Codeine or methadone. Um, Painkiller. Opioid. Opioid. And then this is id. But I'm going to make it ego because we're going across. So a first person. Rube Goldberg. Ah, cool. As an adjective. A Rube Goldberg device. So Rube Goldberg, a pair of words as a phrase, is an ad adjective. That's cool. Uh, all right. Uh, accommodations. It's a houseboat that a bank might float alone for. Ah, oh, that's funny. Ah, <laughs> float alone. Uh, familiar with is up on. Singers are, I don't know. Smart thermostat brand is Nest. Uh, what's Lash? Oh, strike is to, psh, to lash. Worse than they can be batted. You bat a lash. Okay, that works. Uh, singers are, are stoolies, like, like stool pigeons, like they sing. Hack off is lop off. Yield is to give in. Uh, digestive fluid is bile. Ones who have answered, yes, I don't know. A uh, long line on the face, I don't know. Sees the big picture is a movie goer. And then this is the Rebus ego, movie goer. And then this is it on the way down. I don't know yet. Um, deadlines. Dead lines like the Grateful Dead? No, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. Nicholas, who directed the man, I don't know. As Nicholas Cage spells his name like that, but that doesn't fit. Or does it? Um, somewhat off is awry. Uh, dead lines would be an elegy. Uh, no, it's Nicholas or somebody else. I don't know. Cup holder, oh, a bra maybe? No. Yeah, it has cups in it, I guess. Um, I don't know. Uh, way down is to, to bog down. Yoko from Tokyo is Yoko Ono. I didn't know she was from Tokyo, but that makes sense. She's a Yoko. Hindquarters would be the bum. Uh, Unibrow, oh, long on in the face is Unibrow. <laughs> Nicholas Rogue? Reg? Reg? I don't, I don't know. Okay, uh, so this is ID. So brides to be have answered yes. Ah, like, uh, will you marry me? Yes! So that makes you a brides to be. Okay, Miracle Worker is it uh, TCM, Turner Classic Movies, maybe? Um, animal whose skull that doesn't look like it makes sense. Um, TBS, TNN, I don't know. TNN's not a thing anymore. It's uh, was it Spike Paramount? I don't know. That channel changed. Okay, anyway, face of a two-year-old, perhaps. Don't know. Yoga pose that stretches the abs. Uh, I don't know. Your back on your back. I don't know. Um, what's this? Some investments for short are CDs. Agile and flexible is. I don't know. Immigration policy is DACA. Um, piece of work uh, is a task. Oh, literally, it's a piece of work. Is this lessons? No. Lissoms? Isn't that a word? L lissom? Uh, equal is, is ISO. Is that lissom? I think it's a word. I don't know. This meeting hasn't started yet. It hasn't. Am I late? Uh, used acid would be etched. Uh, was amused in spe text speak, lol Took down is wrote. Media mogul, it's Oprah, whose production company is Harpo, her name in reverse. Caterwall is jowl, cowl, fowl, 
Prowl? Norman's lunch would be a po' boy. Oh, yow! Yow! Okay, yeah. A po' boy is a, is a sub in Norman's. Not exactly the same, but it's, you know. All right, yoga pose. Cobra. Cobra pose, I guess that could be. Face of a two-year-old is pose is, I don't know. Uh, miracle workers, I still don't know. Vice President after Jefferson was Aaron Burr, sir. Uh, so this would be TBS. Uh, and the stag would be the hall zone. Yeah! Wow. Okay. Got it. All right. So, I guess we do get credit. Oh, they wanted ego slash id, and I just went with ego. I'm guessing if you had ego or id, they give you credit. I don't know. Uh, that's always a question when there's like a special square is what do you get credit for? Um, so, I guess the, the, the solution of just putting ego worked. Maybe just id worked. Maybe ego slash id. That's, that's a lot. All righty. Uh, let's review, shall we? Uh, the theme, the theme, the reveal right here is impulse control. I know that as a phrase. I don't know that as Freudian concept. Um, confession, never taken a full class in psychology. I've learned a lot of psychology in other classes, but I never took the classic Psych 101. Right, I took like educational psychology, I took adolescent psychology, but I never took psych 101. So I may have learned this, but I don't know. I think everything I know about Freud, I learned from crosswords because ego shows up a lot. And superego every, every now and then shows up. And id would be in the clue. I don't know which is which. I know there's one is like your, your animal instinct to do all those dirty things. And one is like your prim and proper response. And then one is what emerges. I, I Something like that. Uh, I'm not going to look it up. Um, cause there's other stuff I wanted to, so, uh, but impulse control apparently is a, a Freudian concept. Um, and so I guess the id overcomes the ego or the ego overcomes the id or something like that. And so if we're going across, um, it's ego. And if we're going down, it's id. So he got game was the movie, uh, with Ray Allen, the basketball movie. Uh, that's why he got game. Uh, meaning he is a good baseball, a basketball player, right? Uh, and on going down, this is ID, so laid in, which is that a phrase? To lay some, to lay in your supplies. It fits. I'll go with it. Can't say that I've ever, uh, ever uh, said. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay in these, these pencils. Um, I, I don't know. Lay in supplies. I'm gonna look that one up. All right. We're looking that one up because that it, maybe it's just something I don't know. Uh, and then here across we have movie goer sees the big picture. Get it? The big picture, like on the screen. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's not the small screen for TV, but the big screen. Uh, and on going down is brides to be ones who have answered yes. So that's that's uh, clever. Uh, if the the uh, you know, will you marry me? Yes. Um, so now you're a bride to be. Okay. Then over here we have on the way across. Uh, we have office gossip, E-G-O, crossing the words. Uh, and they, that, that seems to be how they did it, right? He got games. So the E and he, the go and got. The E in movie, the go and go. I know it's one word, but it's like a, it's a thing. And then the E in off, office and the go and gossip. On the way down, it's I-D. Mama said there'll be days like this. There'll be days like this. My mama said, mama said, mama said. All right, then we have Rube Goldberg, again with the E in Rube, the go in Goldberg. And on the way down is opioid. Codeine and methadone are indeed opioids um, that are not the addictive ones that, that, that uh, lead to bad, bad, bad outcomes. Um, and then there's no rebus squares down here because we have the revealer there and there. So that was pretty cool. Um, Let's see. There's some things I've never heard of or some people I've never heard of. Eli's coming in a Laura Nairo tune. First of all, who's Laura Nairo? Second of all, what is this song, Eli's coming? Uh, is it religious? Is it, is it like a gospel type song? I'm going to look that one up. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I don't remember much about Glee. I'm not sure how that I remember it already. Because if you ask me what's the name of the kid on Glee... Uh, the kid in the wheelchair, right? So, but that, that was his most obvious characteristic. I would not have said Artie, but I guess it's brought back. Um, I know Leah Michelle was on it. I don't remember her character's name. I know Jane Lynch was on it. I don't remember her character's name. I know the lead guy teacher man was Mr. Shu, but I don't remember the actor's name, Matthew something? Matthew McConaughey. Not Matthew McConaughey. Um, 
Yeah, but anyway, um, I don't want to look up Glee, but I do want to look up uh, Eli or Laura Nairo and who's coming, and I want to look up Laid In and what was Magna? It was Magna Carta? Um, what else? Do I, I want to look up Sweet Generis because I know that from Crosses, but I don't know what it means. So I'm gonna look. So those are my three for today. Oh, and then this guy, Nicholas Rogue. Who directed the man? That, that's an old movie, right? I don't know. Okay, so it looks like I got enough to look up. All right. So, hey, if you're sticking around, thank you so much. Uh, if you got to go, all right, go have a, have a great Thursday or, or whatever day this is that you're watching it. Uh, come back. If you haven't yet liked, uh, please do. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do. Uh, but if you're sticking around, you can do those things anyway. Do it now before you forget. Um, and we're going we're gonna to zoom out and uh, look at some of those things. So let's start right here because that's where we are. Nicholas Rug. Nicholas... Nicholas Cage is the number one Nicholas with one with no H or K or, or whatever. Nicholas Cantu, Nicholas Rexrod, and Totoa. Okay. Uh, Nicholas Cage, Nicholas Cage, Nicholas Cage, Nicholas Sarkozy, Nicholas Todd, Nicholas. Nope. Nicholas R. There you go. You're the number two Nicholas <laughs> Nicholas Restaurant, and there's one in New York City. Too. All right, here we go. Nicholas. Don't look now. The man who fell to earth. The witches. Performance Castaway, English film director and cinematographer, best known for directing these movies that I've never heard of. Okay. You had, what, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six children. All right. Died of natural causes at age 90. Well done. Um, oh, here we go. Six children. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, Okay, I got I got nothing. You're, yeah, it's a thing. Um, all right, um, laid in is is a phrase. I'd want to look that one up. So, laid laid to rest, laid law, laid back, Luke, laid to rest, laid in. Synonyms and antonyms: stored, stashed, laid up, laid by, hoarded, accumulated, put by, laid away. Yeah. Okay. Um. I guess that's a phrase. Um, past tense of lay in uh, to put something in the future. Be sure to lay in enough food for the long Alaska winter. Never heard that. Stashed, hoarded, laid up. Past tense of lay in. Okay, to put something of future use value in a safe or secret place. Be sure to lay in enough food. Never heard that. I wonder if that's a regional thing uh, or if it's a generational thing. Uh, see more. Lots of antonyms, lots of sin. Okay, video lay versus lie. That's always a big thing. Uh, no. Okay. All right. Laid in. Is there anything more about the phrase here? We got some news. Laid definition. Lay something in. Dictionary. Cambridge Dictionary. Let's see what they got here. Lay something in. That's a phrasal verb. With lay. We'd better lay in, uh, I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, we'd better lay in plenty of food in case we're cut off when it snows. Now, is that a real example, or did some uh, editor or a person make that up? Lay in something. American Dictionary. Wait, this one didn't say American Dictionary. Here we go. American Dictionary. We'd better lay in plenty of food for the winter months. Apparently, that's what you lay in for, is for the winter months. Okay. All right. Uh, what else? What else? What else? It was. It was something down here. Oh, I gotta look that one. Lissom. That's. I, I was thinking lies, but lissom. I wonder if that's related. Lissom. Mean lissom crossword. Yeah, lissom. Thin, supple, and graceful. That kind of outfit should be left to lissom, lissom teenagers. And it has a schwa sound. There's the schwa. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's all right. That's a word. Um, apparently. I tell you, nuts on last on the JASA crossword class, you have some vocabulary. Um, that's what this, this is not like, there's not as much trivia, except for Nicholas Rogue here, but there's serious vocab going on. Um, what was the other one? Oh, sui generis. That's total crossreads, but I'm going to look it up because I want to know what it means. Sui, suits, suicide, go, sui gas bill. Sui generis is the second most common sui, constituting a class alone, unique or particular to itself. What? I don't think I understand that. 
to instituting a class alone. Can I get that in a sentence? Can I get? In a, is it a legal term? Example: Among history's greats, Leonardo da Vinci is considered sui generis, a man with such stupid. Oh, so he's in a class by itself. Such was my first in the flesh count encounter with Jackson, who died Thursday at the age of 87, and who had seared himself into my teenage consciousness decades earlier as an uncompromisingly modern, sui generis movie star. Apparently, people write it in, in like, reviews. Okay. Sui generis musicians who emerge. If you're writing a review for some, some media outlet over uh, an actor or a musician or something, um, or an artist, someone is a class by themselves. Okay. Constituting a class. Oh, so that means in a class by oneself. Constituting a class. Okay. Unique, peculiar. Okay. I don't think I'll ever use that, but now I know what it means. Uh, and the last one I wanted to look up. What was it? It was late in. It was. Oh, this one here. Eli's coming in a Laura Nairo. Tune. I'm going to look up Laura Nairo. Laura Lentz. Laura Ingram. Laura Linney. Laura Dern. No, Laura Nairo. Number one, Laura N. Congratulations to you. American songwriter and singer. She does not look familiar to me. Uh, died at age 50, almost 50. Um, influential New York singer, songwriter, powerful, soulful voice. Dead 49, that's a shame. Phenomenal singers, singer, the 60s overlooked. These are her albums. She's in a class with Joni Mitchell and Carol King. Okay. She's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's pretty impressive. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh, come on. Uh, Laura Nair. This is her, her page. Face doesn't ring a bell. 2012 inducted by Bette Midler as a performer. Oh, this is okay. Uh, Hall of Fame essay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, gallery. Nah. Beastie Boys. The Blue Caps. The Comets. The Cricket. Okay. Um, yeah, so Eli Cumming apparently is, is a song by you. Let's go to your Wikipedia page. Um, achieved critical acclaim. Eli and the 13th Confession. That's Barbara Streisand. Um, Elton Johnson idolized her. Three octave range. That's pretty impressive. The Fifth Dimension sang her, performed her songs. Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Peter, Paul, and Mary. And When I Die. That's Blood, Best Blood, Sweat, and Tears, yeah. Three Dog Night. And Maynard Ferguson with Eli's Coming. Barbara Streisand with Stony End, also Maynard Ferguson tune. Okay. I don't know Eli's Coming, but I may have to listen. Daughter of a piano tuner and jazz trumpeter. Respectable. And a bookkeeper, also respectable. Okay. Huh. Never heard of you, but you appear to be uh, quite the figure. So, uh, and Eli's coming in the song. There is a, the song has, here we go. All right, recorded by Three Dog Night. Don Ellis recorded it. Maynard Ferguson released on uh, the Fifth Dimension. The Nylon. That's quite uh, all right. All right, I'm gonna listen to it, uh, but not now, of course, because then there would be copyrighted uh, content, um, and I don't want to do that. So that is the end of today's puzzle. Uh, I had a good, good time with you. I hope you had a good, good time with me. Uh, we learned a little bit of psychology, or maybe not. We learned a little vocabulary, uh, and most importantly. We had fun solving the puzzle. And that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. That is what it's all about, is enjoying ourselves with this puzzle. It's here for us. We might as well uh, have fun with it. That's why I do it. That's why I'm doing these videos. That's why you're watching the videos. All right. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you in the future, family.